that rally in Michigan, the president singled out a number of Democrats, especially the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Little pencil neck Adam Schiff. He's got the smallest, thinnest neck I've ever seen. He is not a long ball hitter. But I saw him today. Well, we don't really know. Uh, there could still have been some Russia collusion. <laughs> These are sick people. Schiff uh, continues to accuse the president of collusion with Russia. Now, Republicans are demanding that the California congressman resign his chairmanship. Ed O'Keefe is on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Ed, good morning. Good morning, Tony. All nine members, nine Republican members of the House Intelligence Committee are calling on Schiff to go, saying that they no longer have confidence in his ability to lead the panel. Republican Mike Conaway is leading the charge, telling Schiff yesterday that his continued claims of collusion are, quote, incompatible with his duties as the chairman of this committee. But Schiff fired back, doubling down on his claims and slamming Republicans for denying the president's alleged misconduct. You might say that's all okay. You might say that's just what you need to do to win. But I don't think it's okay. I think it's immoral. I think it's unethical. I think it's unpatriotic. And yes, I think it's corrupt and evidence of collusion. Schiff and other Democrats still believe the details in Mueller's report will be bad for the president, and they're going to do everything in their power to get the report released. Now, there's little that members of the minority party can do to oust a member of the majority party, and Schiff has no plans to resign and still enjoys support of top Democrats, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Tony. Ed, adding to the intrigue on Capitol Hill, Jared Kushner, the president's son-in-law and one of his most senior advisors, was spotted there. What's that about? Yeah, we don't entirely know why he was here, but we do know he was meeting with members of the Senate Intelligence Committee behind closed doors. That panel is one of eight House and Senate committees that continue to investigate the president, his businesses, uh, and other affairs. More than anything, Kushner's appearance is a reminder that the investigations will continue even after the Mueller report's conclusion. That's likely to complicate the president's ability to work with Democrats on anything else. Tony. Ed, thank you very much. We wish you a slow news day today on this Friday. <laughs>